Cool, these are <clears throat> some lights I'm making for Roads Less Traveled here. It's a um, circuit board testing unit. I've got a dimmer on here now so I can control the amount of music that stimulates the circuit. Turn the tunes up a bit here. shadow of my hand on the ceiling there. This is about half the lights that are going to be in the inside of the bus. Run on battery or sound. And these here are the strands that I'm making. Every three feet created a section here that's got two wires so I can put two LEDs on each spot every three feet. We've got one soldered on here. See that little guy there? So I'm going to alternate uh, blue and green. So it'll be white and blue, white and green, white and blue, white and green. Very nice. A little potentiometer here to control the brightness. Set the sensitivity. You could have more silence in the light, or you can have a lot of light. The circuit will also run on a double A battery. Very nice, eh? There's about half the lights are going to be on this string. But massive, massive light. That's all on one AA battery. Cool, eh? Interesting. I noticed that on this jewel thief from the... Um, I guess it's the emitter on the uh, transistor, or no, it would be, uh, yeah, the emitter on a PNP transistor, I got the negative coming out of that, and this uh, 500 ohm variable potentiometer hooked into the battery, and that's the battery's negative, the battery positive is coming into the center tap of the coil, with one wire going to the collector of the NPN transistor and another wire from the coil going through a 100 ohm resistor back to the base. And that there protects the LED, the 100 ohm resistor. It actually protects the transistor from running too much current through it. It was really brilliant. I noticed that when I got the potentiometer all the way off, the LEDs are off. The battery is actually regaining itself now going up slowly. Watch the battery will go down when I turn the lights on here. So now we're drawing max current. And you see it's dropping fairly rapidly. Well you can back the lights off a bit. See when they pop, you just back it off one hair. And now this circle will run for a lot longer how it's sort of hovering right now and you can take it down even lower last even longer brilliant
Well, nice. What we got here is um, seven blue, seven green, and 14 white. What I'm going to do is alternate these white, blue, white, green, white, blue, white, green, up one side and back down the other. And let's do a little music test here. <laughs> awesome baby and what's neat about these is you can get them r really psychedelic so they're just on nice and you know so subtle if you get it at the right spot I can probably get mostly just the green there we go bring it up the blues and then the whites come in after That's on a really low music volume right now. This is basically the uh, <clears throat> amplified signal coming out of the amplifier that would normally go to the speakers. It is going to the speakers, but it's also going to this dual thief circuit. So cool, the DJ can actually like play the lights and the music at the same time. It's going to be trippy because uh, Mike, if you do the left channel on the top of the bus and the right channel on the inside, if there's differences, then the inside and the top of the bus will be flashing at different rates. Very cool, man. Almost done this, been up all night. Sun's coming up. See you soon.